Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, we're gonna using npm to create and create a new package and uh, using a new package. Okay. So when we start doing our application, normally we will initialize a package. We will create a new package which contains all the JS files and also the package JSON. Because later on, when we deploy our application into like a production environment or share your application with your coworkers, they, are, they need a package.json to initialize the project. Okay. So the the reason behind the uh, one one reason is probably our project using a lot of third party dependencies, and in the package package dot JSON and the park package log dot JSON will contains the information about the dependencies and also the versioning uh, version of the dependencies we want to use. And uh, meanwhile, if we want to uh, check in our code, we don't check in everything on the node modules, which is the actual files about dependencies. We only check in our code, the code we wrote. And uh, they are gonna, when we start a new environment, they are gonna using npm install to using the package.json to download all the dependency locally in a new environment. Okay, it's the same like uh, uh, in other pro uh, programming language development, like if we're using Java Spring, Spring Boot, or if we are using Maven to manage our package, then we only have all the dependency on the POM dot file. We don't actually download those jar files, okay, or include those in our repositories. We only check in our source code and uh, other co-workers or in the production environment, they can according the palm.xml file to download all the dependencies uh, over the network. Okay, so now let's start, okay? Here I create a new package. First, how to initialize? Okay, this is a new package. It's gonna contain or, or a new project. It's gonna contain everything, uh, all the JS files I need. Okay, you using npm init, and here you have to follow the command. And what's the package name? Uh, here I just using um, package. And what's the versioning? Okay, what's the dependency? This is a demo package. Okay, what's the entry point? Yesterday, if you look at or watched my video about require, that we we talk about require. You can pass uh you can pass a specific uh sorry specific JS file. You can also put a folder name. And when we put a folder name, by default, it's gonna require for a package.json. If we doesn't has, it will it will looking for index.js file, right? So if you want to change the behavior to be some JS file, you can change it here. Suppose here I say, when I require the new package, this folder, I want it to look for app.js, that's what where you set. This is a test command, git repository, keywords, license. Yes, okay. And once we do, here it will give us a package.json which contains almost every information we wrote, every information we wrote, like a name, version, and these uh, scripts, test. Scripts is also very useful. Here you can, um, uh, do some scripts tell how to run your application. Suppose now let's create a very simple application. And first, I create a JS file. So a package contains all the JS file. 
package.json and later on you will see another file called package-log.json. We will talk about that. And for this app, I just want to show you um uh what's the uh I want to show you a new a third party dependency, okay? Because I don't um don't remember all the APIs. This one is a moment.js because the, we're just uh, using this one for demo purpose, okay? Moment.js is a utility, okay? Which can be used to parse, validate, manipulate, display dates and time in JavaScript. If you need, then you use it, okay? So I want to display current uh, how about uh, the current, uh, this one, the date, the time, everything using this, I want to using this um, uh, function, okay, or method in moment. First, moment is the third party uh, dependency, okay, so we have to install locally. How to install? Using npm install, then you type the dependency name or the module name called the moment okay and then using dash dash save when using dash dash save let's let me pull here you will here you will see some changes in the package.json and you will see they are gonna download some files and put under node dash modules i think you already seen node dash modules when we when I talk about to require okay so now enter okay now did you see uh, the the changes made on package.json it add a dependencies and it tell I my package my project depend on moment and this is the version okay well, this is the version installed in this uh, package and uh, here when you install just using moment like this it's gonna download the latest version which registered on mpm.js but if you want to install a specific version you can using add and that like this give the version number like this okay then it's gonna download this specific version not the latest one so uh, here this is a change at the moment uh, this is a change dependencies and another one yes you can see it will automatically have a folder called the node modules and here is all the things related to moment okay and it will also have a package log.json uh, so first, I will just show you after install the moment and how to use that. Then we will talk about uh, other things, okay. Const moment and how to require a module for third party and core module. You just give the name, okay. And for the core module, it won't resolve. It will immediately return. And for the third party module, it's gonna look for the files on the node modules. And then we can use in console.log and the moment.format. Okay, I, I couldn't remember the full API. It just, it just a comment from here, okay. Is it, uh, I think it should return something. Yes, it's a return a string. And how to run? Note app.js. Then you see the current time, date and time, right? And uh, I want to show you a little bit uh, modify here. Here is scripts. Scripts, you can have lots of scripts here, like a start. And here I using start, it means how to run our application, okay? And after I add this, and what you can do is you can start with npm start. 
to run this application. See here, npm start, then it will run this application and this is the result. This is very, very useful, especially later on when we have an environment variable. For environment variable, in order to run using, if you want to use node to run, you have to set environment variable every time you run. But with npm, this is a start, which using the package that are JSON these uh, scripts, you can put all the environment variable here, then just using npm start. And uh, eventually we will get to the, uh, what's the environment variable. At, at, at that time, you will see the benefits to using the scripts to start our application, okay? So if you don't get this one now, and uh, don't worry, okay, we will talk about it. And uh, this one is uh, just to show you how to install a third party module. And the uh, next slide, next video, I'm gonna talk about what is this, which is uh, basically the semantic, semantic versioning. And uh, what is this carrot? Okay. So, and uh, what is uh, this file, package.log.json, in later videos? Okay. So, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.